Hey, it's Melanie. Thank you so much for subscribing to Get The Beauty Blender. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you all the Beauty Blender secrets that everyone needs to know in order to best use their Beauty Blender and have it like do so many things for you. I absolutely love the Beauty Blender. It's one of my favorite tools. Before I started using it, I had this coworker that I worked with and every day she would walk in and she would have the most perfect skin. And by then I had never knew what a Beauty Blender was. I've heard of it, but I never tried it, never really got into it. And so after a couple weeks of being like, okay girl, where and how and who and what and what is going on? How are you doing this? How are you getting that super flawless finish? I need to know. And she told me all about the Beauty Blender. So I love this product ever since. It has given me like the most flawless finish ever. Although I still try other things, but the Beauty Blender is absolutely amazing. So amazing. Kicking off, this is what we have. We have the Dabble Makeup Beauty Blender. Woo -woo. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Uh, this one has just an amazing sponge filling to it and it's got this nice texture and it's absolutely, I mean, just incredible. This is my favorite beauty blender. So there's a couple ways that you can use this. You can either use it damp or dry. You have probably already heard people say, Never use it dry. Yeah, I've heard it too a million times. However, I'm gonna tell you right now in this secret, you can use it dry and I guarantee everyone at one point or another has found themselves using a beauty blender dry. So don't freak out if you're in a situation where you're applying your makeup, you're not near a sink and you can't get your beauty blender damp. So you have to use it dry because it's your only foundation tool that you have available. So what I want to tell you right now is yes, you can completely use this dry. It's not gonna give you as airbrushed of a finish. However, it's still gonna give you a full coverage, beautiful finish. So it's not like you're gonna look horrible if you use it dry. It's not gonna be as flawless and airbrushed looking as if it were damp but it will still achieve what you want it to achieve, which is gonna apply your liquid foundation and press on all your cosmetics into your face. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use it damp. So right now I have my made like simulated sink, right? So <laughs> pretend this is the sink. So what I want you to do with your beauty blender is you just dip it in and you kind of want it, you see how it has like air bubbles coming out? You want to let it get all filled in with water. And you see how it's just literally like blowing up. Oh my God, it just like blew up because it's soaking in all that water. So then what you do is you squeeze it out. And I know a wine glass is clearly not the best glass to squeeze water out in. But when you squeeze your beauty blender, this is very important. When you're squeezing, I want your nails to not touch the beauty blender because if you squeeze and you're squeezing and pinching your nails in, you might as well be tearing up your beauty blender. I've seen so many women do this. I've been over to so many women's house and they're like, my beauty blender is all beaten up. It looks like a cat got it. And I'm like, no girl, that was your nails your nails did that when you squeeze it out. <laughs> so when you squeeze, keep your nails out and just use your fingers to squeeze it out. Don't use your nails. You see how I'm pushing and squeezing it out? Okay, make sure that's how you do that and that will really keep your beauty blender lasting a long time and not starting to look like your cat's been playing with it. Now from here, after you got it damp, what you can also do is take a clean paper towel and just lightly get off all the excess water. And you are then going to have a perfectly ready beauty blender. This is the ideal way to use your beauty blender. Using your beauty blender is gonna be more than just foundation. We can apply serums, lotions, powders and all kinds of things using just this one amazing tool. Let's go ahead and start with applying our face serum. So right here I have the Avon Vitamin C and I'm just gonna do a pump onto my beauty blender, get my hair out of the way. and apply this all over. And 
And the other way you can use your Beauty Blender is to apply your primer. So I'm gonna be taking this primer for my face right here and just squeezing it onto my Beauty Blender. You can also put this product on the back of your hand where you can have more control over how much product goes on your face and when. So now I'm just literally dabbing this onto my skin. Now what we're gonna do is use our Beauty Blender to apply a liquid Dazzle Drops onto our cheekbones for some highlight. So I'm gonna show you guys a different technique and to do this, I'm just gonna put this product on the back of my hand like I just mentioned because I want more control over where this goes. I'm gonna take the small tip of the Beauty Blender and then just push the product right above my cheekbones. Now for the fun stuff, we're gonna take our damp beauty blender and use it to apply any liquid or cream foundation that you have. So here's the important part of the Beauty Blender is the technique on how you do this. There's a couple ways. First, you can dab and release, dab and release. The goal is to press the product into your skin. The second thing you can do is dab and twist, or also called press and twist, press and twist, or press and roll, press and roll. And it's just really quick, simple movements over and over, press and roll, press and roll, press and roll. And what you're doing is you're filling all your pores in with this product, so that's gonna leave you with a very soft and flawless finish, and it's not gonna look like you have large pores because you'll be filling this in with the product. Now what you can do with your Beauty Blender is use it to apply your concealer to highlight your face. Here's a fun fact. When you get your Beauty Blender damp, what it does, it absorbs all of the water. So when you apply your cosmetic product to it, it keeps the product mostly on the outside, which transfers to your face better. If you didn't get it damp, it could hold the product more, which means you have to use more product to apply on your face because a lot of the product that you do use may be absorbed by the Beauty Blender or your brush, whatever you use. But that's why we get it damp, because it keeps the product from getting soaked into the Beauty Blender, saving you more product and time.
You can also use your beauty blender to directly grab cream contour products and apply it directly to your face. So I'm gonna grab this product here simply by using the small tip and picking up the product directly on the beauty blender. And then I just swipe it where I want it to go. It's even great for contouring your nose. As you can see, I'm just using the small tip and it's going directly onto my nose right where I want it to go to contour. And to get that extra pout when you're filling in your lips or applying your lip gloss, I love to put a contour shade just at the bottom of my lower lip. Another tip is if you want this process to go so much faster, all you have to do is use the flat round bottom part because it covers more area and use that to push in your contour. And then when you want a more sharper defined line, use the small side. What we can also do is use a damp beauty blender in order to apply our powder bronzer. So what you do is you just pick up the product and place it exactly where you want it to go. A beauty blender is also absolutely amazing to help you take translucent powder and set it anywhere on your face. And the technique when you're using a translucent powder is you can either dab and press dab and roll, or when you're going for a sharp line to help you contour, you can simply swipe.
After that, all you have to do when you're ready to remove your translucent powder is take any fluffy brush that you have and simply swipe off the excess translucent powder. You can also use your beauty blender to apply blush. You can do a powdered or a cream, depending on whatever your preference is for the day. And then once your look is all finished, the last way you can use your beauty blender is to use it after you apply your finishing or setting spray. So watch this. You want to wait until it's just almost dry. It's in between the wet after you first spray it and then before the dry. So right in the center, you want to be there where it's kind of at that tacky stage. And what that, that's going to do is allow you to really push in all the work that you just did and give you a flawless finish. So if you have those little baby white hairs, the peach fuzzies like I do, this is really gonna push them in and make them disappear so you just are left with a flawless finish. And there you have it. Those are your beauty blender secrets that are gonna help you rock your makeup world. I promise you it's gonna change the game for you. I hope you love these tips and I hope you try them. Wait, and before you go, one last critical tip. After you use your beauty blender damp, do not throw it away and tuck it back in somewhere tight where there's no air to get to it to allow it to dry. What you're gonna do if you do that is you're gonna cause it to grow mold and bacteria and germs because it's still damp. It needs to dry first before you put it away. So what I like to do is just put it on my makeup vanity somewhere where it's open to the air, where it's able to safely dry. That way it'll stay healthy and long lasting for you throughout your makeup journey.